Hey everyone. Um, so I've got a. I actually just saw Arizona.net or Arizona Offroad.net uh, post a video about the new rear bumper they got, and that's pretty cool from Rockhard 4x4. Um, they did get an iron rock off road tank armor, and uh, they. I, I saw this. It was like a three man operation uh, to do it, and. Believe me, when I first installed this one, it was a four-man operation. <laughs> um, but I installed another one for a friend, and I actually did it by myself, and that's what this video is about. How to install this by yourself. So, the reason, I mean, uh, the reason I needed to develop that, because, you know, it's hard to get everybody lined up, but anyway, um, if you look at a different video of mine you'll see that uh, I have a AX15 transmission for my Jeep Comanche and I actually modified my Harbor Freight Jack for uh, for that purpose and I made it to where this goes up 27 inches high um, so I could install my transmission anyway I modified the transmission jack I mean the jack for the transmission by buying some hardware from Ace Hardware big old long screw and I, I drilled it into all these this wood drilled a hole through there and then I bolted it in here and then uh, when I was doing my friend's tank armor I actually modified this thing um, and what I did was I uh, got two more pieces of 2x4 and I just uh, drywall screwed into you know into the top of it and I actually just set the uh, the whole tank plate on this, you know, and it was very stable. And I rolled it right in, rolled it right in, and uh, as you can see, very easy. You know, lift the whole vehicle up like this. And anyway, so that by by lifting it up, you're able to catch the. Uh, the mount bolts and nuts in without a problem and I did that with just this jack and it made uh, installing the tank plate with just uh, a one-man operation and I thought I'd share that with you guys all right take it easy <laughs> 